Foodies, listen up. Today is National Taco Day. A perfect idea for dinner tonight. Of course, many people will be celebrating by grabbing a few tacos throughout their day. The Valley Today's Christy Larson getting an early start on the action. She's live at the Pico Food Truck in Moorhead. Hi, Christy. Good morning, guys. That's right. We're parked right outside a junkyard brewery, and what we thought was we'd show off some of these tacos Brianne makes. So let's start with the sweet potato one. You actually make your own shells. Correct. And how do you make those? Because you said you just make one big ball of dough at a time. Yep, so I just make them in a mixer with, you know, staple ingredients, and then I wrap them in plastic wrap, and then I come to the location, and then I use this tortilla press to just press each tortilla separately, so... And so what goes inside of your, um, let's take the lid off of this one and show off, what, do you, what goes inside of your sweet potato one? I have a mix of spices, um, some olive oil, and then some other black beans are added in there too. Okay, let's throw it in the taco and let's make this one up because I've been a little bit hungry because it smells just a little bit delicious as you've had a lot cooking up. So sweet potato taco, obviously a good option for people who don't want some of that meat. Yeah, I didn't really intend for it to be a vegetarian taco just because yeah. I love sweet potatoes, but... It has been a great option for those people who don't like meat. All right, and then we take a little look in here and what goes in it next. Um, so we have this queso fresco. It's just a crumbly cheese. And then we add the red cabbage. Okay. And then we have this Greek yogurt and lime sauce that's also seasoned. And this is probably one of those sellers that people don't expect to love as much as they do. Exactly. Um, they're kind of, con you know, we're concerned about it, not really sure it's an actual taco. Mm -hmm. I think they think it's more just a sweet potato, but then they see it and they're pleasantly surprised. Yeah. And I really like it too, because I've actually had it before. It's kind of like the sweet potatoes, that sweetness, you got the cheese, but then there's actually that spice on it too. Yeah. There's quite a kick to it. And I've kind of had to tweak that a lot mm -hmm. over the summer just because people have said it's too hot or not hot enough. So. But we've gotten it down, I think. And so the truck is actually going to be outside of Junkyard tonight from 4 p.m. until 8.30 p.m. So you can come get some of these delicious tacos. We're going to continue to show off other ones that Brianne makes here inside of her truck. But I better retaste test it because I haven't had it since last week. <laughs> I do like that it's different, you know. Oh, yeah. I... You know, who would ever think to put sweet potatoes in their taco? But it works, apparently. Uh. Christy's giving it the... Uh, Second go around, obviously. Mm. I hear the uh, yes. The Christie mm, seal of approval <laughs> right? is always a positive exactly. sign for any food taste testing going on in the valley today. It looks delicious. Christy, we'll check in with you again soon.